Have you ever wondered what it takes to set up a successful fish farm? In recent years, fish farming or aquaculture has been making waves as a profitable venture. This burgeoning industry is a response to the increasing global demand for fish as a food source. But beyond its economic potential, fish farming also offers a sustainable solution to overfishing in natural water bodies. Getting into fish farming, however, isn't as simple as diving headfirst into the nearest pond. Like any business, it requires careful planning, a deep understanding of the process, and a keen eye for detail. From selecting the perfect site to choosing the right fish species, to managing your farm and marketing your catch, each step plays a crucial role in determining your success. But don't worry, we're here to guide you through it. So before we delve deeper, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel, Farming Know How, for more insights on farming. The first step in setting up a fish farm is selecting the right site. Selecting the right site sets the foundation for your fish farming journey. It's like choosing the perfect home, only this time, it's for your fish. And just like us, fish too need an environment that caters to their needs and promotes their growth. The location of your fish farm plays a significant role in its success. A site with a reliable water supply is crucial. Fish, after all, live in water, and not just any water. They need clean, fresh water with the right temperature and oxygen levels. So, whether you're sourcing water from a natural body like a river, a lake, or a well, ensure it's free from pollutants and harmful substances. The quality of the soil at your chosen site is another vital factor. Why, you may ask? The type of soil determines the water retention capacity of your pond. Loamy soil is often the best choice as it holds water well and is rich in nutrients. Lastly, let's talk about accessibility. Your site should be easily reachable for you, your workers, and potential buyers. A site near a good road network facilitates easy transport of fish to the market and also helps in getting necessary supplies to your farm conveniently. Choosing the right site is fundamental for your fish farm's success. It's not just about finding a space, but about finding the right space that ticks all these boxes. Now that you've selected your site, let's move on to designing and constructing your fish pond. When it comes to fish farming, there's no one-size-fits-all solution for pond design. The design you choose will depend on factors like the species you're farming, the local climate, and your overall farming strategy. Let's start with the types of fish ponds. There are three main categories, nursery ponds, rearing ponds, and production ponds. Nursery ponds are small and shallow, used for rearing fish from eggs until they're ready to be moved to a larger pond. Rearing ponds are intermediate in size, where fish grow until they're ready for the production pond. Production ponds are the largest, where fish are grown until they're ready for harvest. The design of your pond isn't just about size, though. The shape of the pond plays a crucial role in water circulation, which is essential for maintaining oxygen levels and removing waste. Rectangular or square ponds are common because they allow for uniform water circulation, but other shapes can work too, depending on your specific needs. The depth of the pond is another key consideration. It should be deep enough to prevent predators from accessing your fish, but not so deep that it becomes difficult to manage. A depth of about 1 to 2 meters is often recommended. Construction of the pond requires careful planning and execution. You'll need to remove any vegetation from the site and then excavate the area to your desired depth and shape. After excavating, you'll need to compact the soil to create a solid base. You might also consider lining the pond with a durable material to prevent water loss. Remember, the design of your pond will greatly impact your ability to manage it efficiently. A well-designed pond will make it easier to feed your fish, monitor their health and eventually harvest them. It will also create a healthier environment for your fish, which can lead to better growth rates and higher yields. The right pond design is crucial for the health and growth of your fish. So, give your design the time and consideration it deserves. Your fish, and your bottom line, will thank you. With the pond ready, it's now time to choose the right fish species. It's like picking a cast for a blockbuster movie. You want stars that will shine in their roles and bring in the crowds, right? The first factor to consider is market demand. It's essential to know what types of fish are in high demand in your local market or internationally if you're aiming for export. Are customers craving catfish? Or maybe trout is the talk of the town? Research is key here. Next up is the growth rate of the fish species. A faster growing fish means quicker turnaround and potentially higher profits. Some species like tilapia are known for their rapid growth, but don't forget to weigh this against other factors. And speaking of other factors, climate suitability is a big one. 
Your chosen fish species should be comfortable in the climate of your farm's location. Fish like carp thrive in a wide range of temperatures, while others, like salmon, require cooler waters. Consider also the fish's resilience to disease and its compatibility with other species if you're planning a polyculture system. You wouldn't want your fish getting sick or not playing nice with their pond mates, would you? Choosing the right fish species is a critical step in setting up a successful fish farm. It's like putting together a winning team. Every choice matters, and each fish plays a part. The right fish species will ensure profitability and sustainability of your fish farm. So, make your choice wisely. Now, let's talk about managing your fish farm. Management is the cornerstone of any successful enterprise, and fish farming is no exception. To maximize production and ensure the health and well-being of your fish, effective management practices are crucial. One of the most significant aspects of fish farm management is regular feeding. Just like us, fish need a balanced and nutritious diet to grow and thrive. It's not just about tossing food into the pond and hoping for the best. It's about understanding the dietary needs of your chosen species and providing a feeding schedule that suits their natural feeding habits. The right diet can significantly improve growth rates and overall fish health. Equally important is monitoring the quality of your water. Fish, as you know, are water creatures and the quality of their environment directly impacts their health and productivity. Regular testing of water parameters such as temperature, pH levels, and oxygen content is vital. Imbalances or sudden changes can lead to stress or disease among your fish population. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. Speaking of disease, disease management is another critical aspect of fish farm management. Fish can be susceptible to various illnesses and parasites, especially in a densely populated farm. Regular health checks, early detection of symptoms, and prompt treatment can save your farm from significant losses. Moreover, good management also includes maintaining the right stocking density, ensuring proper aeration, and managing waste efficiently. Overstocking can lead to competition for food and space resulting in slower growth and higher susceptibility to disease. Proper aeration ensures that your fish have enough oxygen, a crucial element for their survival. Efficient waste management, on the other hand, helps maintain water quality and prevents the buildup of harmful substances. In conclusion, good fish farm management goes beyond just keeping your fish alive. It's about creating an environment in which they can thrive and grow to their full potential. Regular feeding, water quality monitoring, and disease management are just a few of the many factors that contribute to this. Effective management is the key to a successful fish farm. Finally, let's discuss marketing your fish. Marketing is the bridge that connects your fish farm to your customers, and without it, even the best fish in the world might go unnoticed. So, how do you ensure your fish get the attention they deserve? First, keep a keen eye on market trends. Understanding what the market wants can help you decide which fish species to farm and even how to present your product. Next, remember the power of relationships. Building strong relationships with your customers, be they restaurants, grocery stores, or individual consumers, will keep them coming back for more. Provide excellent customer service, and your customers will become your biggest promoters. Lastly, set competitive prices. Know the costs of your operation, the prices of your competitors, and the value your product brings to your customers. Pricing your fish right is a balancing act, but one that can reap significant rewards. Remember, successful marketing is just as important as successful farming. So, are you ready to set up your own fish farm? As we've seen, there are several key factors to consider, each one a critical step on your journey to successful fish farming. Firstly, site selection can make or break your fish farm. Consider factors like water supply and soil quality before making your decision. Secondly, pond design and construction are vital. Your pond should be designed to suit your chosen fish species and be able to maintain optimal conditions. Speaking of fish species, choosing the right ones that suit your local climate and market demand is a must. Once you've chosen your fish, effective farm management comes into play. Regular monitoring and appropriate feeding strategies are crucial. Finally, marketing your fish is the key to turning your efforts into profit. Understand your local market, set competitive prices, and build relationships with buyers. Remember to like this video and subscribe to Farming Know How for more farming tips and tricks. Happy farming!